man says that he is recovering after two dozen authorities searched his Greene County property. He says they came searching for illegal marijuana, but he insists the search was unwarranted. The man says his plants follow Ohio regulations, but he was still met with a sea of law enforcement surrounding his property. Two News reporter Kajaja Hawkins is live in Bath Township and shares what that man calls an alarming situation. Brooke and John Chris Thompson says that he is traumatized and he can barely sleep after the situation happened here at his home in Greene County. He says he's now questioning law enforcement. You, you can't give us a right and then strip it away in less than six months. This is just it's just unheard of. Tuesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Chris Thompson says he felt his entire home shake and when he came outside to investigate, he found a Greene County Sheriff's Office helicopter hovering above his property. He also says around 30 law enforcement personnel came to search his property for what they believe could be unregulated marijuana. Some of those personnel even wearing ski masks. It's scary. You know, even though it's been legalized, that we are still being treated as criminals involved in a legal activity. Thompson says they inspected his property and his marijuana plants, but refused to identify themselves. He says after the search, they did not find his plants to be out of violation with Ohio's new recreational growing regulations. And they left with no explanation for the overwhelming police presence. And now Thompson says he's uneasy about the situation and demanding more from Ohio. Ohio needs to do better. We, we, we need to do better. You know, we can't we can't enforce restrictions on things that have already been deemed legal. Um, making criminals out of law abiding citizens is not something that Ohio should should do or condone. We reached out to Greene County Sheriff's Office for comment. They just responded minutes ago and they say they were out to regulate large amounts of marijuana and yesterday's acts were done in collaboration with the federal drug enforcement. They will be talking more in depth with us tomorrow about their policies and regulations. Reporting live in Bath Township, Kajaja Hawkins, 2 News.